So hello everyone, I am in the Polish Armed Forces Technology Museum in Warsaw and here the first thing I will show you is this remnants of the KV tank. Uh, we don't know which KV, probably an early model and this is how much is left from it. Here we can see how thick was the front upper plate. Here we have some vehicles that are not part of the exposi exposition, however, they might be one day, hopefully restored. Another vehicle is this one, a uh, very small vehicle, and at the moment it's not well known what is it. It's probably Soviet, um, hard to say, some sort of uh, Renault FT derivative perhaps, maybe one day it will be known. A sprockets probably from the Tiger tank or other similar World War II heavy German vehicle. Uh, Stug or Sturmgeschütz 3 uh, or what is left from it. It's upper Casamate. Preserved pretty well. And here we have uh, Panzer III that is uh, being rebuilt. It's one of the later models with the long 5 cm gun. And this is more of the remnants of the Sturmgeschütz 4. Pardon me, Sturmgeschütz 3. And here we have uh, remnants of the Panther tank. Here we can see the thickness of the side armor. The cupola, uh, part of the engine ventilation system. We can see the engine and the components of the suspension system and the front plate thickness. Here we have some artillery guns. A howitzer. It's actually a 218 millimeters mortar made by Schneider, model 1914. <laughs> and this is 210 millimeters heavy howitzer Mercer 18, the German one, obviously. <laughs> a Russian F. Two gun, I believe. Uh, 75 millimeter and the King Tiger 88, among other guns like the Flak 88.
here we have some more of the artillery systems. This is the 152mm howitzer, model 1943, made in the Soviet Union. It's another howitzer, probably 122mm. And a smaller one. 105 perhaps. I do not recognize this model. Here are some AT guns, also made in Soviet Union. This is the Z2, 57 millimeters. <clears throat> 45 millimeter anti tank gun. Model 1942 and again 45 millimeter but with shorter barrel this is model 1937 and here are mortars uh, the first one is 160 millimeter model 1943 and 120 millimeter model 1938. <clears throat> when I was in the army, in the air cavalry, I served in the support company using mortars, although they were more modern and a bit smaller caliber. 98 millimeter M98 mortars. Uh, in terms of size and weight, they were probably not much smaller than this one. And the M98 with uh, all the equipment weighs 300 kilograms. So, yeah, that's a heavy stuff. So here we have a multiple launch rocket system. Code named WP8. This one is designed in Poland actually. Not in use anymore, of course. And here we have a submarine. Or a deep deep submersible submarine something like that but it's fair so this is 122 millimeters light howitzer, light field howitzer, uh, model 1909 1937, maybe in Soviet Union. And here, more interesting piece and unusual is the M68 105 millimeter rifle gun in the gun mount and mantlet of the M60A1 main battle tank. actually see the thickness of the gun mantlet. Uh, a few years ago my friend measured it and it was something like 300 millimeters or more. Yeah. And the M68 105 millimeter gun is not actually a licensed copy of the British 07. It's a bit more modern, more compact gun than the L7. Here we have some other smaller guns. This is actually 2A28 Grom smoothbore rocket launcher from the BMP-1. 
and here's something I am I am unable to identify. So yeah, this is the T34 model 1942. It's probably the only one left in Poland and the oldest T34 tank here in existing at the moment. I might be wrong. You can see some driver touch the details. So here are the T3485. This one is definitely in the running condition compared to these. I see it driving here, and the IS-2M tank. It's a heavy tank, of course, Soviet-made. Um, you can actually see how bad quality was the steel used on it. Here we have an IS-3 tank, it's one of the only two existing IS-2s in Poland. We were tested by the Polish army after the World War II and tests were a complete failure. The tanks never passed the, the tests, but, they, but, but, but both test examples were left in Poland. This one is said to have a crack in the hole, large enough, uh, men can fit through it to the inside, the crack is on the belly. Suspension details. And a T55. Actually, it might be a T54 upgraded T55 standard. You can see here an opening for the fixed driver machine gun. The driver machine gun was uh, uh, used mainly on the T-54s and early T-55s. And this is T-55 AM Merida. It's a Polish upgrade. For the T-55, it uses the Soviet BDD composite armor on the whole front and the turret front. You can see the thickness of the pla Adam plate. And here we have the primary sight of the Marida fire control system. The old primary sight was now used as auxiliary site. Uh, it was said that the Marida FCS was better than the original FCS of the T-72 tank. Uh, this is the Soviet version of the T-55AM uh, using Volna FCS. It is capable to fire ATGMs, however the Volna FCS in itself is inferior to the Marida FCS, you can see the sights. 
are different. The laser rangefinder on the Soviet P-55 is placed on the gun manifold, not integrated into the gunner side. Here we have one of the original T-72s. Uh, this T-72 do not have a composite armor in the turret or in the whole front. It, it is one of the earliest ones. It doesn't have a laser rangefinder, but an optical rangefinder visible here. PT-76, light amphibious tank. SU-76M, well, actually it might be the original SU-76, but on this destroyer, SU-85, ISU-152, or actually it might be SU-152, no it's ISU. This is ASU-85, an airborne tank destroyer or a old gun. We'll name it infantry fire support vehicle these days. Um, this is ISU-122, if I'm not mistaken. A BMP-1. Still in service in the Polish army, but hopefully not for long anymore. <coughs> it's a death trap for the crew and the dismounts. And we can see the main gun and the ATGM launching rail above. The driver hatch and vision box. Commander hatch and small cupola, gunner sight and vision box, and this one's vision box. And here we can see the uh, openings for the firing ports. Not much to see here right now, so let's move forward. And this is one of the KMT mine plosives, mine ro rollers, by BTR 40. Unfortunately, not to be seen from their tarp. BTR 152, and another one with a hood. BTR-60, PB, BRDA-1, and the BRDA-2, another BRDM like looking vehicle, but this is actually a Hungarian FUG. This is the Polish-Czechoslovakian 8x8 APC, 